survey is basically a depiction of land. Um, normally you'll take and uh, do a survey of a boundary. Boundary establish easements, uh, transmission lines, anything like that will show up on a survey. There's different types of surveys, but um, you know, basically you use a survey when you're transacting land, you're selling land, you're buying land, uh, partition for family members, uh, things like that. So that kind of what you use a survey for. Say that the, the main issue is that uh, understanding what the client needs. So a client may call and say they need like a, a, a fence line survey or, or a survey for a fence when in reality they may need um, an actual title survey. Like they're, they say they're going to be buying a piece of property um, and they say they only need a fence line survey. So you get into those issues and that's where you need to be sure that you're talking to the client who's actually ordering the survey to find out what they actually need. Because a lot of times you'll have a property owner who calls in the survey, but then they have a lender for purchasing the survey, and, and so you need to get what the, the actual needs are. But it, it generally helps a lot because if you're, uh, um, and if, for instance, if you buy a tract of land with no sale or with no survey on it, and then you purchase. Uh, additional tract of land or something like that. Um, you can uh, not know about encroachments. Um, there may be a fence line that's not actually on the boundary itself. So when you come in, a neighbor gets his property surveyed, you didn't have your surveyed, and then these issues start showing up. You know, it's better to always have it up front. So, you know, if you could get an accurate survey up front, knowing what you're going to be purchasing, um, you're way ahead of the game. basic rights of property owners, uh, uh, it, it takes surveying to be able to determine, you know, boundaries for surveys, what types of, of uh, land transactions, and um, as far as rights go, you know, it, uh, it's, it's going way back to the, the founding of this country. Even before that, people were doing, you know, surveys to determine land ownership and rights and stuff like that. So, it's, it's very important. You generally have, uh, you know, you can go from the basic, which is like a call to and flag. And that's where you're actually going out and you have a property owner who owns his property. Uh, he's now decided to fence it and can't find his property corner, so it's basically a little small survey. Um, determine the boundary and make sure there's no encroachments on the boundary so he can go ahead and build the fence. Then you have a land survey where you're actually going out determining the boundary and, uh, you know, basically providing a plat showing what was found on the boundary, if there's any encroachments or anything like that. Um, then you, you can have a uh, title survey, which is when you're purchasing a piece of property and you have a lender. Um, that'll show the improvements on the property, sidewalks, fences, um, anything like that. If there's encroachments, utilities must cross the property. Uh, and that would be like where you, you have a piece of property that was bought and then they, the two property owners, uh, one, one down the road, may have wanted to split a lot. So now you've got an original lot line down the middle of your lot with a house across it. And uh, you go get a loan and you have utilities but down there. A lot of lenders will, will balk at that. Then you'll have um, uh, topographic surveys where you're going out to determine the trees, the elevations, contours, the land. Uh, you know, basically will show uh, any type of utilities, anything like that that would affect it as far as being able to plant a house. You have what's called an ALTA uh, survey. ALTAs are basically, they're, they're very strict. You know, you have to show everything on the property. Um, uh, they require that you wrap your angles, and there's a lot, a lot of things going to an Alta. Most of the times, big developments where there's a lot of money being transacted between a purchaser and the bank, um, they'll want an Alta survey to, to do that. So, but that is, you know, it's a very strict survey. The requirements are different as far as precision and all that stuff.